Hello everybody. Today I'm going to add some protective rubber half soles to my Allen Edmonds uh, McNeils. All right, so let's go. Hello everybody. It's Robert Powers. Four and a half out of five. This is my shoe collection. They actually look pretty bad. What that means is these are made of shell cordovan. Can you tell the difference? Now here they are finished up. I'm not a professional. Look how tight this is though. Very clearly here, I just cut the thread in half. And here it goes. Here they are completely finished up. So these are the Allen Edmonds McNeils that you may have, um, you know, already seen in on the uh, unboxing video, as well as these are the ones that uh, actually, um, I just got back a couple days ago from having the soles redone. These were um, a quality issue on a new pair of shoes. So the bottom line is, uh, the reason I'm telling you that is these soles, just FYI as a reference point, um, these soles have uh, 10,400 steps on them. So I wore them two days. Um, and yesterday I wore them, I walked quite a bit outside. The day before was, I did some walking outside, um, but it was, you know, mostly an office day. But in case you care, that's what two days of wear on a leather, brand new leather sole will do. So you can see, uh, um, I've already put a piece of tape. I have a line there and, uh, I'll put in the description a link to these soles that I got. I got them off of eBay. They're actually fairly thin. I'll compare them to the ones that I used to use. Um, these do wear very well. These are the Goodyear Neolite, you can see there, right? Protective half soles. And they just are not as aesthetically pleasing. So um, I'm going to give these a shot, okay? Um, I'm just a fan of the rubber protective hassles. Um, I live in Northeast Ohio where, uh, you know, we have wet weather, you know, about six, seven months out of the year. Right now it's August, so it's pretty nice, you know, as I'm making this video. The wet weather, the nasty weather is going to be coming around the corner, so I want to go ahead and put these on. So first thing that I did was I laid these out where I wanted them. And then, you know, they come actually out of the package, these uh, protective hassles, these particular ones I got come where the bottom is, you can see the bottom there, is flat. So I just decided to put a nice little arc on them there. And then after, um, that's the wrong one. After drawing out the arc where I want it, then I traced it over the piece of tape. And then all I'm gonna do is, uh, um, I'm gonna gently, not gently, but I'm gonna cut the leather there to try to get the edge of this flush with the edge of the leather sole. Does that make sense? Um, then I'm going to use, uh, this is the rubber cement. This is not what the pros use. This is what I've been using. It works very well. This is made by DAP. Uh, you can see it's weld wood contact cement. It is actually available um, in a smaller, smaller, like a glass jar with a brush in the cap. You know, this, you have to get a separate brush. Um, and this is available at uh, Walmart. Okay. Okay, so like I said, I've already got the line marked. Um, I've got a nice, you know, sharp utility knife. This part there is some danger with, okay? So, um, you know, obviously you got to use judgment and, you know, you have to understand how skilled you are with stuff. Um, you know, I have hurt myself before uh, <laughs> using, you know, knives like this. So, you know, cut away from yourself. Don't cut at your fingers. I mean, you know, there's some rules, but this is a skilled trade, you know, so... Um, and I think I'm okay at this. I, I'm definitely not great at this, but I think I'm okay. So the key is I want to make a nice round, even cut, even depth. And, uh, you know, uh, so let's see if I can do this.
casing, I think the sole is reasonably prepped. Right. This is ready to go too. So I got the, this stuff is pretty stinky. Use it in a well ventilated area. It's really smelly. And you gotta go by the directions on the can. Um, basically the directions on the can, what they tell you is that you coat both sides and then let it kind of dry up, I guess. When you get near the edges, you're gonna wanna go from the inside out, inside out, you know, like get it on there and then like brush it off the edge almost. So that you do get all the way to the edge. That's where you're gonna have the most adhesion problems. And on raw leather like this, I guess what I'm learning over time is that you may need to put a couple coats of it. When you have raw leather, what I mean by raw is like where the leather has been, the surface of the leather has been broken, you know, open like this, sanded. It seems like it, um, the glue soaks in, is I think what it does. And then you need like one base coat almost to, you know, get in there and then a second one over top of the first one, if that makes sense. The pros use these really big brushes and they can do what I'm taking five minutes to do in, you know, like 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. is curling up. It's pretty thin. Just FYI, can you see down here close to this edge? Can you see how it's drying up? I don't know if you can tell in the video. It's like it dried faster. To me it just looks like it, because I broke into that leather deeper, I think it's going to need more glue. And if it is going to peel off, that's where it's going to be most susceptible to peeling off from.
here again, you can see a better example of what I'm talking about. You can clearly see at the back of the shoe there. Right there, the glue has kind of absorbed in it. Needs, it needs more. too small, that wasn't my trimming really. Now what I'm going to do is see this other shoe. I'm going to put it on, put weight on it to help press the rubber down. Any extra glue on the edge of the sole there. After it dries you just roll it off. You see, it'll just ball up and come right off. With your finger. I've cleaned off all the extra glue off the edge. Okay. This is just a edge dye. Up. It's pretty flush, isn't it? Perfect. You can see they're a little wavy, but again, I'm like, you know, two, three inches from the shoe. Never professed to be a professional, but I'm getting better. I'm getting better and better every day in every way. All right, so there they are, ready for the weather. And battle anything. A long wing brogue like this you know, the long wing with the double oak sole and the storm welt. You know, I do think the, uh, you know, um, the protective rubber half sole goes along very well with the concept of this shoe. You know, because like I said, it's made for walking. They're very, very comfortable to walk in. You know, because you have an extra thick sole, it protects your feet a little bit more. The storm well protects the shoe, so. All right, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out some of my other videos. Subscribe if you'd like, and have an awesome day. God bless. Thank you.